Good morning, you are about to embark on a unique photography adventure in remote islands of the Pacific Ocean in search of the one shot from Jimmy Nelson that inspired me years ago. And because no quest is ever completed alone, I teamed up with three of the finest humans for this journey. Chelsea Yamase, fearless photographer, model and artist. Emmett Sparling, award-winning filmmaker and travel photographer. Jeremy Perron, photographer and trusted editor. And, well, that's me, Pierre Lambert, an overexcited travel photographer. This quest is not only about finding that photo, but most importantly about capturing this mysterious place through our own lens and showing the high, the lows, and everything in between. To kick off this quest, the first step was to fly over 5,000 miles thanks to Earth 13 Nui to get to Papete in French Polynesia. From there, another 1,000 plus miles were waiting for us on board a small plane to reach the Marquesas, a group of 12 islands lost in the middle of the Pacific Ocean six of which inhabited today. In this episode, we're touching ground on the first island, Mukuhiba, where we have to meet locals for hikes, portraits, track conceptual photography, scout for the best sunrise and sunset spots, and almost destroy my A1. Maybe I should rinse it a little bit. Holy moly, I better not fall now. Chelsea's on a horse, and her hands are bleeding, but the shot looks epic. Woo! All right, Emmett, what you got for us today? Going on an adventure. We're going uh, to scout around the island. There is a few bays that we want to check out for sunset and then for sunrise tomorrow morning. Emmet is world-class photographer, so everything he says is gold, guys. Emmet, tip of the day. Get a car without doors. Ooh. <laughs> beautiful ray of light coming up on that direction. Emmett is flying the drone, he's trying to get that little like, cool shot with the inside the trees. It's a little technical. That's how he breaks all his drone. Over there we've got a spirit tree. I love trees. I want to be able to take good photos of trees and I, I don't think I do them justice. So hopefully soon. Speaking of tree guys, look at that. It's an archaeological style, Kumahe, I think it's called. And look at that, that tree is absolutely majestic. It's so difficult to get really good shots of trees I find. Chelsea's gonna go up that tree and then she's gonna put on the drone to try to actually shoot. Where are you shooting from Emmett? Probably around here. What lens? 16-35? Oh you're going like just... Okay that's gonna be cool. Probably just the patterns because at 50 you can't get the whole tree. I'm gonna go down there because I'm at 14 millimeter I'm gonna use that like those branches going up and then try to get the shot. Okay, so Chelsea is going up that tree. I felt like we had really nice symmetry with the V and she's gonna try kind of to hang. Look up a little bit. I love how Emmett's shot actually came out very differently with the 50. We really have just the tree and it looks yeah, it looks like it's it's just that painting, you know. It's pretty cool with the orange. And then Chelsea went up on the other tree, oh, on the other side. It looks completely different. I kind of like the feeling with the wide angle at 14. Are we gonna try to keep scouting? Look at this, this looks so good. The conditions are ridiculous. We have the moon up there, we've got the beach, we've got like lifestyle people doing their thing. And on top of that, you get like that crazy reflection. Oh, whoa. And that, you look good with green. Can I see it? 200,000. Is this day one or? I do 200,000, guys. What it looks like. It's much better than my cell phone back in the days. Good morning everyone. It is 4 uh, 30 a.m. aka way too early and the stars are out. We are going on a sunrise mission on the other side of the island. We're in the middle of the Pacific, thousand miles away from any coastline. 
Guys, look at this. This is insane. We can see the stars. It's 4.30 a.m. We're going through the sunrise mission, but look at this. This is ridiculous. Complete adventure because we have no clue where we're going exactly. There isn't too much information. We know no one really that went to those places except our awesome guide, Mate. So we're gonna go up to a viewpoint, check out how it is. If that works out, we'll shoot from there or maybe go down the bay. I feel like we need to stay one month to like just scout everything and have a good idea of uh, where is the best place and get the right sunsets, sunrises and all that. All right guys, we made it. It's crazy. Not too shabby. We found a spot for you to climb up with the goat over there. I'm gonna oh, shoot a little bit with a 16.35. I wasn't 24-70 quickly, but I think uh, this is gonna be a little more appropriate to shoot a little wider. And then we'll change, let's see. Oh my. Guys, this is so pretty. I'm gonna go run over there on that peak. I got a few like wide shots of the bay. Already looks mint. Super excited to see the rest. Let's go. Whoa, guys. <laughs> Situation slightly scary. I think we're on the right path though. Let's continue. Holy moly. I better not fall now. Look at this, guys. Guys, that is absolutely incredible. I'm speechless as to where we are. We got a bunch of really cool shots. We got Chelsea with the 7200. Emmett got all the drone shots. I think uh, this should make it for a beautiful adventure, honestly. Guys, this is incredible. Mate, it's magnifique. Oh, no, no. Chelsea, how was it for you? It was so beautiful. Oh, it's like five of my favorite places combined into one. Oh. It's really epic. Okay, which ones? Kauai? Kauai, Oahu, Indonesia, and like Fiji or something. Ooh. Tell me, how was it for you? I was insane. Emmett? I flew my drone over that bridge. There's a perfect white sand beach with a lone palm tree in the middle of the beach. We're gonna go uh, shoot a little more pinnacle and I also want to get some street shots actually if possible down there in the village. People look really cool if we can get some street portraits of that like travel portrait that would be really cool. I might pop in the 51 too just to get that. Look where we made it. I'm gonna take the 50 millimeter, the 1635 with the polarizer, and we're gonna go in a little POV mode here in this lost paradise island. I love it. Look at this. This looks so good. This never gets old. Look at this. This is such a funny shot. Look at this. 
like kind of street photography in paradise boom nice colors if i should have one to it almost like it's coming out of the those trees i like that je peux prendre une photo de vous s'il vous plaît j'aime beaucoup avec euh, c'est super joli là hop hop et nickel on voit pas trop avec non, le, le très soleil. Bien. Ah oui, oui, bah oui, je me protège. <rire> <rire> Bonne journée! This guy is cool over there. Boom. With the yellow socks. That's hilarious. POV of Chelsea! POV of Emmett! Closer, closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I like that. Do it again. Mm, yes. Beautiful. Your mama made you, no? All right, let's go eat. <laughs> and a new episode of Surviving in the Wild with Pierre. Get your coconuts, step one. Step two, take the coconut, find a machete that you make with your own hands, and then cut it. Hold on. It's not as easy as it looks when you do it on the side of the road with one hand. I think I've been at it for five minutes now and I pretty much suck at opening anything with the machete. That's my conclusion. But I get there. It's just a lot longer. Look, then we just pierce a hole and drink. It's gonna be a little fizzy like kombucha. Bottoms up. After shooting a little bit around the neighborhood, I'm gonna Give my hat to Jeremy, merci Jeremy, and my t-shirt because we're going in the water with Chelsea. We're going to be taking a few uh, like portrait at 512 with the background. I want to see if that can look good. Chelsea looks good, the background looks good. I think it's going to be hard to make a bad photo. You would agree, right? For the record, I'm terrified of you with your camera in there. Really? Yeah! We'll see. Whoa. Holy moly guys, that was scary. Every wave was coming and we had to like jump up with the camera so that it wouldn't get splashed on. A little scary. Yeah, it's so into shooting that he was just like, run like that, wave, wave, wave. They said it's weatherproof. Oh, yeah. Weather cool. includes the ocean, right? It definitely does, that's <laughs> a lot of weather pattern. I rinsed it over here a little bit with the water. Maybe I should rinse it a little bit. I think you should take the mic off. Well, it's a little wet too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hopefully it's fine. It was in the sun, it looks okay. Finished to shoot here, finished to eat. We're going to the next bay that has a lot more peaks. So it should be good. Are you guys full and sleepy? Everyone's like very, very, very sleepy. We slept maybe like four or five, five hours. If you were super disciplined, you would get six at best. <laughs> Another day in the office, folks. Yeah. We are on our way back to uh, Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> we're gonna get horses and we're gonna horseback ride through different beaches like Anaho and I can't I can't tell you the name we'll put it on the screen somewhere. Chelsea you had a shot in mind you were saying galloping on the beach. Oh uh, well Emma wants to do galloping on the beach and I want to do swimming with the horse in the water. Ooh. Yes. And Emma is gonna gallop on the beach naked on his horse. Yeah. We're gonna be shooting with a 14 millimeter from the horse. Uh, we're gonna go walking pace actually to go all the way to the beach. There's two bays that you actually saw at sunrise. We didn't make it all the way down last time. So we're gonna go there with the horses and hopefully we're gonna get some epic shots of like running in the beach. First time touching a horse. Oh, it's so soft. Emmet versus horse. You look super comfy, Emmet. Chelsea is like so natural. And Off the horse, guys, and we're gonna take a little rest, but look at this. I can just possibly believe this landscape. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're gonna fly the drone, we're gonna have Chelsea ride the horse also. I guess so. Chelsea's on the horse. Emmett's like kind of directing also for the shots they want. 
Uh, what I really like is when we have that background right there and when she's more like on the edge. I think it looks good. I'm on the 7200 f2.8. Uh, honestly, it might be a little tight. I brought the 51 too also and we can have different backgrounds. We can have this one or this one and I think either is gonna look epic. So it's just a matter of trying. So I'm trying to have her at the top of the hill so that she really stands out. Let's, we're gonna switch to 50 mil just because it's hard to get the whole landscape. Monsieur Emet, what's, hap what's happening? Tell us uh, everything. Chelsea's on a horse, her hands are bleeding, but the shot looks epic, so we're gonna... Wait, her gonna, hands are bleeding? Her hands are <laughs> bleeding. So dramatic. So we're gonna keep trying. Are you 1635? 24-70. Alright guys, we got a few shots at, with the 70, oh the light is back, 7200, the light goes in and out so it's fairly difficult and the horses are also getting a little tired, oh, at least the one horse, so we don't want to wear them down, but the photos, look at that, looks so so good, I made also a few 4k shots, Woo! perfect, boom, boom. Yes, Emmett, yes, show me your eyes. <laughs> Not those eyes! <laughs> this is the process of a Tinder. Yes, yes, yes. Backpack. Mm -hmm. Oh ha! C'est la seule danse qu'on qu peut danser sans instrument en fait. Ouais. Les instruments c'est la voix. C'est pour ça l'occidental l'avait appelé la danse du cochon en fait. C'est suite à ce bruit là quoi. Sinon ça s'appelle le mahaou. C'est libérer la bête qui est en soi. En fait. Tu as une vue préférée ici, d'où tu regardes Comme tu arrives dans cette baie, que tu découvres la baie, alors si tu arrives avec une lumière ou quelque chose, c'est vraiment très spécial. Mmh. C'est vraiment la plus belle vue que tu peux avoir, ouais. c'est l'arrivée en bateau. Holy moly, guys, this was great. So, over there, there is Jack living, and who is a painter, and there was William, or guide, who was actually making the pigs dance, and it just looks so epic. So we started taking a few portraits of them, and then we took a few portraits of the painter also, which uh, he's been living here, it's a crazy story. This is one of the reasons why I love photography. It gets you places, it allows you to go discover new things. And the way you see the world when you're looking at it through a lens is very different because everything is 
kind of beautiful and interesting. Obviously it is here too, you know, like even without a camera, I feel very, very privileged and very lucky to be here. We made it to our sunset spot. This is basically that epic landscape we're gonna be shooting. Right now it's like super windy and also raining and we're just posted in the car. We're gonna wait a little. This is the current situation we've got. He's looking at the show. We've got Emmett chilling also. Right there. We've got William listening to the music. Jeremy went to scout first over there. We're scouting for sunset that's gonna pop like I said a little after. I think 16 millimeters is gonna do it. If we have someone else on that ridge and you shoot with a drone from like over there that could also look really really good. Oh, don't jump Jeremy don't jump! The lights starting to change we have Chelsea who is coming down that path with the mountains. Looks really beautiful. I'm gonna switch you to the GoPro in a second. We're gonna go 1635 get a bunch of epic shots. Get a, a few drone shots over there also. Ah. Incredible. All right. Dun, 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 dun. This is how you do landscape photography. You run around with the camera and try to make things look good. Yeah. Spell. Nice. This looks good. Are you barefoot? A little more towards the peak peak. Perfect. That's not good. I have zero control over it. Oh shit. 